Hello there folks, how you doing? I'm hunkering down here, sheltering from the rain, it's hammering down outside again. It's been a, a long spell of unsettled weather. However, I've been fairly productive, I've managed to get a bit done. I've got quite a lot done in the garden actually. And a bit of weeding, a bit of planting, got the grass cut. I've actually cut the grass two or three times because I put some fertiliser on. So it's, uh, it's grown pretty fast just now. I've also been doing a little bit of labelling. So I got some labels and a white marker pen. Actually, I went for a cycle today and I, I managed a couple of hours without getting wet, which was a bonus. The marker pen that I used for writing the labels was beginning to dry up, so I cycled to the nearest town and I went the scenic route. And after visiting three shops, I actually managed to get what I was looking for, so I've got a fresh pen now. And a wee while ago, about a week or so ago, I picked up this old bike at a farmer's market. Not sure how old it is, but I think it dates from the war sometime. Let me see if I can tell you why I think that. Now that I'm looking, I can't find it. Here we are. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. So, it's... Uh, war grade tubes that it had in it and um, pretty thin tyres as well and actually the steel is pretty thin the tubes are not very robust at all but I saw it poking out of the undergrowth and it looked a bit forlorn there so I asked the lassie that owned a wee cabin that sold some curios and antiques and things if, uh, if it was hers and she said yes it was and she said but ah, it's far gone I asked permission to dig it out of the undergrowth. I used my landscape skills to get it out. It wasn't easy. And I had a wee look at it and I thought, I can maybe get that going. So we struck a deal, I brought it home. And I've actually taken it all to bits and I've not done anything particularly technical with it. Just a lot of time with release oil and a bit of sandpaper and and managed to free everything up, I even managed to get the brakes going. The brakes are working on it now. So I've reassembled it and I haven't changed a single part on it yet, although I can't fix the seat, I'll have to get a replacement saddle and it'll need some hand grips and stuff like that, but I'm going to see if I can get it running. Uh, however, I need new inner tubes and tyres. I know a chap in Ireland and I contacted him and uh, as it happens, he had the right size of tyres and tubes to fit uh, these wheels. So I've ordered them up and they're going to come over the next couple of days. I'm guessing because of the lack of resources during the war years that the rubber is very thin and actually there's not even rubber pedals on this, they're wooden pedals. So I'm just sitting here putting a bit of teak oil on to try and moisten them up a bit. They were looking a bit kind of dry and cracked. So if I get the spare parts, I'll keep, I'll keep working away with it. It's too small for me. I don't know what I'm going to do with it when I'm finished, but it's keeping me busy during this, uh, this wet weather. Anyhow, this two minute channel update is taking a wee bit more than two minutes. I was really just going to let you know that I've got the van prepped as well. I filled it up with diesel, gas, water. There's food in there and there's clothing and I've got some outdoor gear. So Mo and I are just kind of uh, looking at the weather forecast, sorting out a little bit of personal admin and we're hoping to get on the road in the not too distant future. We're actually planning on two short trips. I originally thought we might manage a longer trip, but we need to be home for some personal stuff. So I think what we're probably going to do, we might head south actually. We don't have any particular plan just now, but we might head south down towards the borders for a wee while and then come back, spin by the house for a night or two and then head north after that. So apologies that the channel's been fairly quiet recently, just a couple of pretty short videos. And then this one with me sitting here blethering for way too long. But we will get out and about soon, folks. So thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned. And we'll get back to you soon. Bye for now.